since where they bomb me i never hear something like this if you come across this video i beg not share this video go where igbo people day or yoruba people day make one hear with this nigeria man this nigeria man you guys are seeing in this video they tell some igbo people and some yoruba people <laughs> they just ask this man one particular question Say make you come here to what they go for inside this country. Make una hear what they talk. Make una hear in your reaction and make una also share this video. Make other Nigerians still hear what they hear because what they hear for inside this video. I know go feel explain with my mouth. Make una watch the video and I'll write back. Why not allow them to leave, to go? You are still holding them. They said they are not comfortable with this government. Since 1972 now. They said no, no evil man is wise enough to rule Nigeria. No Igbo man is wise enough to rule Nigeria. Just consider that. The real two of you to come out. The real other one to come out. That they will rule. Nigeria is not found in president, vice president, senate president. Igbo, Igbo man is not found there. Which means they are not wise enough. They are not part of Nigeria. That is... That is... That, that, what will I call it? Tribalism in the highest order. So this president, this present government is doing more harm than good. There is a uh, 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 rumor everywhere. People are saying that uh, even the Yorubas, the people that voted Tribu, they are saying they, if they see Tribu one on one, the body go tell them. So, but quite unfortunately, they may not uh, get to that extent of. Can you explain to Nigerians what it means by the body go tell them? Uh, they, they are talking about violence. They may fight him. That's what it means. But they may not get to the extent of seeing him one on one. Now, the issue of uh, increase in, pet in petrol, which uh, was unannounced, they, they plan it, they purposely make the thing scarce, make petrol scarce, so that the demand will be high, then they will, they will, they, they, they will increase the price without consulting anyone and people will not say why then they will suddenly make it available it's not yet available but they plan it it will go that way people just finish protest is it the outcome of the protest they protested that they, they should even the level i heard they when they are saying that it was inclusive in their the deal the deal is that 70 uh, 70,000 naira minimum wage with agreement that they will not increase the price or the price of petroleum. Now, they have accepted 70,000 naira. At the back, they increase the, the price of petroleum. So now, Ajelo, I had one Ajelo saying that, in fact, they will embark another strike, which means they don't agree. The man is violating the, the agreement. See, this present government, I don't think they have anything to offer. I had one Turubu said, I had one Turubu say that he feel the way ordinary person in the citizen feel, every other citizen feel, he felt the same. How can you say that? And you go and purchase another presidential jet. We have existing five. Are we three? So why can't you be using it since you are feeling the way citizens feel then you went ahead and bought spent several millions of dollars to purchase another private jet you are just for your selfish interest so i keep on saying it everything happening in nigeria based in nigeria constitution our constitution is so bad they should change it that every politician that you seek will be treated in nigeria they should not be treated abroad. Nelson Mandela was sick. He was not taken to France. He was not taken. He was not taken to America. He was not taken to any other country to be treated. He was treated in the hospital he built in South Africa, and he died in South Africa. What a president! I hear Mandela. So if Nigeria, if Nigerian politicians can do likewise, I think that this place will be a better place. Even if you carry Nigeria public fund, even if you carry people money. Don't run away with it. Invest it here. People will be carefully employed. So, issue of taking it abroad, that is the money will, there's no, there's no reason that the money will return back.
even after you, your children cannot claim the money. Let alone the, the in fact, let me finish the issue of constitution. Nigerian constitution is so bad that no referendum, no, 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 no restructuring, no, this, there is not there in constitution. Is it not high time we change the constitution? Is it not high time we change it for better Nigeria? There's agitation in the southeast. People want to go. The southeasterners say they want to go. What can the president do to make sure that the price of petrol will come down? My brother, see, when I was telling my fellow uh, Yorubas, when I was telling my brothers here, so there's no place you're going to get petrol cheaper than me. There's no place you're going to buy a bag of rice cheaper than me or a cup of rice cheaper than me. There's no place. Turubu has said only one year in office, one year and in office. Nigeria is doing like this. Don't imagine four years or eight years in office. How will Nigeria be? Eight years in office. How will Nigeria be? Everybody, don't jack Everybody, people are running away. They are not even, they don't have patience enough to wait for passport anymore. They are going through Cameroon, Cotonou, Niger. They are flying away, fleeing the country. A blessed country, a country that is blessed by mineral resources and human capacity, blessed by human resources. Everything is blessed. We are all blessed in Nigeria. How come that blessed country, they are living the same place God blessed them and going to even a dry land like Dubai? Even in a dry land like Dubai, to go and look for greener pasture, where there is no greener pasture. Now, Dubai is a desert. Here we have tropical rainforest here. Our land is so fertile to this that even our roof is growing glasses. Nigeria is so fertile, it's a blessed land. Anything you, you do here, even we have the population. Anything you bring to the market, we sell. How come you are leaving it and going to the dry places looking for greener passion? I heard when Nigeria said they should come to Nigeria and vacate them, that they are having problems. I said, what are, you, what are you looking for? What, tell me why you should leave Nigeria school and they say, I'm going to be going to Nigeria. Until they explain it. Say the system is so bad, all the government schools, they, they are all decaying. No, but no maintenance. Teachers are complaining about the, uh, the the school fees. The sorry, the salary they're receiving is too poor. Is it hard to run a country? So what I'm saying is that, in fact, I think it's enough for uh, uh, military intervention. Military can co supposed to come over this time and they intervene because if the continue, if the, if the situation continues like this. I am an Igbo man. I will not run. I know the Jaguar. I dare here. I'm not going to any place. But other tribes may be disposing their properties in order to buy food. They may be dis all the houses you are seeing here like this. You will be surprised that Igbo man will buy all of them. Because any condition is favorable to them. You can't push them to corner. You bring dollar to today. I read over the, in the newspaper that naira is still crashing again, getting to two thousand naira. I saw one thousand six, almost one seven now. Heading to two thousand naira is to the advantage of Ibo man. So what more can we say? Is it, in advanced country, Turubu should resign. Just honorable resign. Say I cannot handle the situation. I cannot handle the economic economic situation of this country. He will just resign. There are economies that can handle it. <coughs> At this point, Nigeria, Nigeria don't need a politician to rule them. Not people that speak good English, but the people that have action and know what to do. They fix the economy. So this is... We will be expecting bad days. My brother, I'm not predicting bad days. I'm not predicting the bad days. But if the one year in office is like this, how will the eight years be or four years be? My brother, you will use your tongue and count your teeth. <laughs> Let me start like this. Um, if the blind leads the blind, the Bible says, both of them will fall into a ditch. Nobody's coming to rescue you. You hear what I'm saying? Darkness cannot conquer darkness. Only light can conquer darkness. So, Nigerians have um, entered into 
quote unquote one chance or what seem to be like one chance. So how I just are going to navigate through it. You see, someone see people like us now, we don't complain anymore. We knew that this is what we should expect. And we have prepared our minds for it. So if you see people that are complaining now, are those that are not prepared, or those that are building castles in the air. Those that thought that um <laughs> that um you see, let me tell you. Let, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm speaking for say now. The devil cannot deliver you. Only Jesus can deliver somebody. So, if you are calling on the devil to deliver you, and you are in a problem, that problem will get worse. Because, Barry said that um, if he leaves, then just are going to miss him. You know, we thought that it was a joke. So, and, and I, cannot, I cannot even believe it that people are now saying that they are missing. I, I, I can't believe it. People are saying that we are missing Barry. I've not said it, but people are saying it. Ah, Barry, Barry, Barry. Yesterday I was by seven o'clock, no, no, it's by, no, nine o'clock. I, I was in the compound. One man was just complaining. The man was saying that eh, you go puna, you go puna, they be very happy that eh, that that their wishes have come to pass. And 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 and, and we your boss. I said no, I'm not part of you. Don't, don't you cannot you cannot pull everybody together. There are many many your boss that didn't support this. What is happening now? Don't say we your boss. Speak for yourself. You understand? So if they just are in a situation, eh, let us let, let us manage it. Like I already said, in Nigeria, first car city, rice. Kibok gets kidnapped, rice. Boko Haram bandits, rice. That's what, that's what I'm going now. Full and nearest men, rice. Insecurity, rice. Um, uh, there's no light, rice. Bande, Bambi, Bansi, Bansi, Band W, rice. There's increase in electricity tariff. Rice. Everything is rice, 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 rice. I wonder, we should think as Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. You can't be living as if you are destitute. You are giving oh, palliative rice. Are we, are, is there a civil war? No. Is there, is, is there a famine? No. Let the economy be stable. So people can't even afford to buy the rice. We were able to. I, I said, okay, now, even they said, I saw the business today. A rice forty thousand naira. You must have N9 and everything. That same forty thousand can buy you seven bag of rice under Gulo Jonathan. As at even ten years ago. What are you talking about? They, they are subsidizing. They, they want to subsidize rice at forty thousand. We according to what you saw, what I seen on the on the on the internet and everything. That bring N9 and everything. The forty thousand. But that same forty thousand can buy you eight bag of rice. No seven or six. Under Glo Jonathan, as I 10 years ago. Thank you for watching that video. So, guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video. To all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube, so that everyone out there will see this video. So, guys, see you guys some other time.